Hello, my gold diggers. This is Tila from Caldwell Banker. I'm a real estate agent in Denver, Colorado. And today we are going to talk about uh, confidence. And I believe that confidence happens, has to happen, self-confidence has to happen before you decide to make anything your goal um, and to achieve your goal. You have to know that you can do it. And so, first of all, let me plug myself. If you need any real estate help in Colorado, give me a call, 720-397-9590. Um, send me a text. I do it. I do that. I do that. <clears throat> so, um, first of all, I just wanted to say that, you know, self-confidence um, is like a sense that we gain when we see ourselves and others similar to us mastering skills and achieving goals that matter in those skill areas. Uh, this confidence, if we learn and work hard in a particular area, we succeed. And it's this type of confidence that leads people to accept difficult challenges and persist in the face of setbacks. Okay, so when you have low self-confidence, uh, your behavior is reflected and based on what other people think. Uh, you stay in your comfort zone, you have a fear of failure, and you avoid taking risks. Uh, working hard to cover up mistakes and hoping that you can fix the problem before anyone notices. That's another characteristic of low self-esteem. And extolling your own virtues as often as possible to as many people as possible. So if you are the person in your group that's always uh, boasting about yourself or downplaying others and their achievements, you probably have uh, a little bit of low self-confidence. Uh, dismissing compliments offhandedly like, oh, that was nothing really. Anyone could have done it, you know. Um, no, anybody couldn't have done it. There's people that don't have the same skill set as you. If they're giving you a compliment, they literally enjoyed the fact that you did accomplish what you did accomplish. So, um, but that's another reflect um, a reflection of low self-confidence, you know. Now, what I would say about um, a lot of these things is, is that when you're doing something new, you have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to be humble. A lot of times you have to ask for help, uh, you know, and that does take confidence. People don't realize that if I'm humbling myself and I'm asking for help um, and assistance and I'm learning a new skill, I'm learning something that I can share or I can build on, I can build my empire on, let's go, let's go gold diggers, let's build our empire. Uh, but it is gonna take a lot of humility but before I can get to the humility part, I have to have enough self-confidence to say, hey guys, I need some help. I'm not, I can't do this by myself. I don't have the skill set. I have to go back to school. Sometimes you have to go to your family and say, hey, I, I really need your support um, because I'm gonna you know, go through this journey, which I did a couple of years ago when I got my real estate license. I said, family, look, you know, we have to make some changes. There's some things that's gonna um, happen. And I had to gain that self-confidence in order to even present that to my family. So let's talk about what um, self-confidence looks like. So doing what you believe to be right, even if others mock or criticize you for it. That's number one. Being willing to take risks and go the extra mile to achieve better things. Admitting your mistakes and learning from them. 
waiting for others to congratulate you on your accomplishments. So that's not fishing for compliments. Like, did you see that? Did you see that? You just do it. Make sure it's done. If somebody congratulates you, great. If they don't, you still have the confidence and um, you know for yourself that you achieved something. Um, and then the last one is accepting compliments gracefully. Like, thanks, I really worked hard on that. Um, I'm really pleased you recognize my efforts. Um, a lot of times we get so caught up with, and I know that I'm guilty of this sometimes, um, people not recognizing our efforts that we, and we get burnt out. That's when we start the burnout. That's when we start to not like our jobs or get tired of our family and our kids because everybody's not saying thank you all the time. But when we have self-confidence and we have goals in place and we have, we know that on our checklist and we'll get to the checklist because we are going to do some serious work, guys. We are going to do some serious work this year, 2020. Um, but we know that those things have to be done in order to reach our goal. It's not because somebody said great job. It's not because of anything other than I have to do these things if this is going to happen. So if X, then Y for all y'all mathies. That's, I'm a mathy. Um, <laughs> I love math. Um, not very, not calculus, just, you know, algebra. But anyway, <laughs> um, but we do, we have to literally take our personal feelings out of the situation. I had a friend that always used to tell me to stop wearing my feelings on my sleeve because I'd be like, the world is wrong and uh, the these people did this and I can't get ahead because of that and da, da 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 and I was very angry and misguided and I had to figure out that number one those were some things that was put upon me culturally and within um, the groups that I was in you know what I'm saying um, and instead of taking the positives out of being in those groups sometimes I did take the negatives and I would transfix and so then I would wait for people to appreciate what I did because I worked hard and I did this and I did that and I'll tell you guys I, I know that I'm on my right path but at the same time um, when I was younger and I was young um, and that's just the way the world was yeah right there's no excuses for that but I was young and I was very impressionable but in that, I found that a lot of times I sabotaged myself out of very good situations. So what we don't want to do, this is step number one, is we do not want to emulate low self-confidence. We want to achieve our goals and we have to be confident that we're going to achieve it. We have to be confident that we're going to save $10,000. We have to be confident that by the end of the year, we're going to have a house. By the end of the summer, by the end of the month, we're going to find our dream house and we're going to move in it. We have to have that self-confidence that we're going to get through school. We have to have that self-confidence that we are going to get that promotion or that we're going to have a side hustle. And no matter what anybody says, whether I sleep, whether I don't sleep, we're going to achieve our goals. 2020 Gold Diggers, this was um, just a wrap up of the first thing you need in order to achieve any type of goal and that is self-confidence you guys have a wonderful day and write down three goals that you can do today it doesn't have to be hard goals just three go to the gym take a walk uh, play with your kids three goals and do them check it off your list okay 
So this is Tila Burnett, once again, call Wove Realty, 720-397-9590. Let's get our mind right. Let's get our body right. Let's get our finances right. Let's get our life right or close to right. Let's keep on the journey on a positive note. And you guys have a super fantastic, blessed day.